Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into microservices architecture. As applications grow more extensive and complex, it's becoming increasingly challenging to develop, deploy, and scale monolithic code bases. Microservices have emerged as an architectural pattern to address these challenges, and many tech giants like Netflix, Amazon, and Uber have embraced this approach. So let's explore what microservices are, their benefits, and how you can get started with building your own microservices-based application. Essentially, microservices are small, independent services that work together to form a larger application. Instead of having a single, monolithic code base, the application is broken down into multiple services, each responsible for a specific business capability or domain. These services can be developed, deployed, and scaled independently using different programming languages and technologies if needed. So why should you care about microservices? Well, there are several key benefits. Improved scalability. Since each service is independently scalable, you can allocate resources based on demand, scaling out the services that need more computing power without affecting the entire application. Increased resilience. If one service fails, it doesn't bring down the entire application. The other services can continue running, providing a more resilient system. Faster development and deployment. With smaller code bases and independent services, development teams can work in parallel, leading to faster development and deployment cycles. Technology freedom. Each service can be built using the most appropriate technology stack, allowing teams to leverage the right tools for the job. Now, let's dive into an example to illustrate how you can build a microservices-based application. We'll create a simple e-commerce application with three services, a product service, an order service, and a notification service. This service exposes two endpoints, API slash products to get all products and API slash products slash ID to get a specific product by its ID. It uses an in-memory product catalog for simplicity, but in a real-world scenario, you'd likely use a database. The order service handles order creation. When a new order is placed, it calls the product service to retrieve the product details. If the product exists, it creates the order and calls the notification service to send an order confirmation message. The notification service is a simple Go application that listens for incoming notifications and logs the message. In a real-world scenario, you could integrate with email, SMS, or push notification services. And there you have it, folks. We've built a basic microservices-based application with three independent services, product, order, and notification. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to microservices. There are many other considerations, such as service discovery, inter-service communication, deployment strategies, and more. But hopefully, this example has given you a taste of how microservices work and how you can start building your own microservices-based applications. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more software engineering content, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.